Okay. We're going to perform distraction of the uh, right hip in hip being placed in 90 degrees of flexion. The reason we're going to do this is we're going to be able to utilize the femoral head by positioning the patient with internal rotation at the hip and external rotation. We'll be able to get approach into the capsule at various positions. So once again, I have the patient already strapped down across the SIS. I take my gait belt, put it around the patient very close to the inguinal area, as proximal as you can get. I have one leg back and one leg forward. So as I'm doing my distracting force, again, I'm going to maintain this 50, 55 degrees angle of coming off his side. I'm going to take the leg, the hip, and move him up into 90 degrees of hip flexion. From this position, my hand is stabilizing lateral side of his knee and his leg, and I'm going ahead and doing distracting force. Without moving the leg, I'm distracting the hip just by shifting my weight back. Also from this position, I'm going to move him into external rotation. I'm going to use the, the, the mechanism of external rotation to help to work the superior side of the capsule. If I take the patient into internal rotation at 90 degrees of flexion, the eyes of the kinematics will help move the femoral head into the inferior side of the capsule. Thus, even from this position, I can work them into abduction of the hip. From abduction of the hip, I can work into external rotation, internal rotation, and work when I go into abduction of the hip at 90 degrees of flexion, I'm working the anterior side of the capsule. All this can be performed using the belt as my force of distraction.